Hello, and welcome. I'm here with Garrett. Hello. Hello. Has the stream started yet? Who hasn't started yet? I bet it's safe. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that for a fucking looks good. Looks looks fine. Right there for that. Ah, we're good. We're good to go. Okay. This module will cover how to spot food during receiving that may have been contaminated. How to prevent cross contamination when storing prepping and serving food how to handle and store how the audio is to prevent cross contamination uh, and one last of the not chat least, the it. big eight food allergens and how to prevent them from causing an allergic reaction Wait, it is streaming okay yeah okay who's our lucky viewer i couldn't tell you oh like so much Whoa. is food safety wow. It's not that hard to prevent cross contamination. I might need to shout out the stream real quick. What? Should I shout out, the stream? shout out the stream? I mean, shout out the stream. Should I let people know? Oh, yeah, sure, go for it. All right. While eating at a local diner, a boy ordered chocolate pudding. Oh, Garrett, Garrett, hold up, hold up, hold up. Later, he woke up with I'm not going to let you miss this story. We got another story, like the fucking. Story? Yeah, like the other guy. Oh fuck, how much should I back up just now? While eating at a local Oh, it's perfect. Okay, oh fuck. <laughs> Alright, listen to this. A boy ordered chocolate pudding. A boy ordered chocolate pudding. But it was actually poop. A few days later, he woke up with stomach cramps, vomiting, and diarrhea. <laughs> And was he ate a poo poo. I just heard it got a poo poo. The local I'm gonna health department eat my poo poo. An investigation and found ground beef stored above desserts in the diner's walk in cooler, as uh -oh. well as evidence uh -oh. that meat had dripped onto some of the desserts. Six more Ew. customers contacted the health department with similar symptoms. Dude, imagine you know, a little, little extra in your Sunday. E. It'll be crunchy. E. coli, dude, I called it poop. They ate poop. Wow. Well, I'm gross. Right? Oh, this guy again. Gross. Story got sick because raw meat dripped onto his pudding. Ugh. Ah. Ugh. Cross contamination, where pathogens are transferred from one surface or food to another. Dude, In this instance, I I'm gonna be honest. Food was being I didn't want to do the second part of the stream. I really didn't. Receiving yeah, I do what you gotta do. You gotta drag me along with you, you know. Well, part I'm not gonna do it alone, obviously. You were here for the first part. It'd be inconsistent if you weren't here for the second part. It's been weeks. <laughs> it would be inconsistent. Are we trying to sell it off right now that, like, we, we did this all in one sitting? Uh, no. It's live, Garrett. You can't do that. That's not how it works. What do you mean? Shit, you're right. Let's see if you can figure out whether these deliveries are safe to receive or not. Take a look. Should you accept this item or reject it? Uh, what do you think, Gary? It looks... Oh, it's all blurry now. What happened? Uh, it looks like shit. Everything looks like shit. It looks... It's got the poo-poo on it. Well, no, it's fine. It's fine. What is it? Does that say eye cup? <laughs> it's J-cup. That says eye cup. It says J-cup. Wait, J goes the other way. No, it doesn't. You just think J went the other way? God. Well, either wow. way, it looks like a fucking J. It's just cups, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Gosh, 
watch it fucking get out of me. You made it angry. I can see why you'd say that. After all, the items might be fine inside the package. But just to be safe, you should never accept things in dirty packaging. Okay, because I just got all this fucking yeah. money to just fucking send back the cups I just bought. Uh, um, is the stuff on it? It looks fine. It's flour. It, they blurred it. They didn't. Get, it's flour. There's some wet bits on the bottom, but it's fine. That's wet bits. I don't know. It's slightly darker brown. Oh, I guess you're right. Okay, if it, if it was wet, I would have said. Take another look. This bag of flour has a water stain. Uh. Always reject an item if its packaging is water stained or discolored. Okay. What about this? What about that? Um. Well, if it's open and it is leaking. Go I mean, I mean yeah, that one, you know. You don't want that. I that's don't want disgust. that. That's wasted. That's gross. That's wasted, you know, juice right there. Yeah. <laughs> right. This meat must right. be rejected okay. because it's okay. safe. Fucking right. Packaging should not have holes, tears, Where is the motivation? Or other types of damage. We've all seen this kind of thing before. Accept or reject. It's fine. It's just a dented. I think we're rejecting all these. Perfectly. I think we just gotta say no. This one's fine for sure. Just make the dickhead happy. Did we get it? Get it. Nope. Whoa. Okay. Nope. Don't know this, but when cans are dented, nope. it can harm the food inside. The cans you receive should not be dented, rusty, or have swollen ends. Swollen ends. What do you mean swollen? This guy's literally just a picky bitch. He, yeah. He's just being a bitch. For sure. He sends food back at restaurants. He probably does, honestly. So, you've made sure to receive only items that are safe. And you're feeling pretty good I watched about Ratatouille yourself. the other day. Nice yeah. Start. And I want to talk about why Ratatouille is probably one of the best food. movies of all time. Okay. One of the best story arcs. Did honestly. you watch it on my Plex or did you? It was on um, Netflix. Yeah, or something. Okay. Can, you, st can you stop flipping your phone? No. Can you stop that? I think so. But tell, tell us why Ratatouille is one of the best movies ever made. It's a beautiful story. He thinks his whole family died. Okay. That died, but he thinks everyone's gone. Okay. And they all just fucking. They come back because it's a Disney movie, but. Uh huh. Remy's a fucking savage, dude. Why? Just is. Why? Like he steals food from this bitch the whole time. This makes it easier. And no, it, I can't. I'm not gonna get into it. What do you mean? You just said you're. I thought. Well, I thought you knew anything about the movie. I know there's a rat that makes food. Yeah. Choosing containers to store the food in. Always make sure they're actually. There was a video game about it. Never. When um when the guy is it has to kill him and he doesn't he lets him he lets the rat free. He just fucking books it and takes off. He's like, later, bitch. <laughs> the guy or the rat? The rat. Of course, what else would a rat Because they had an agreement, and while he was still inside the jar, that they were going to be friends, and then he just dips. Comes back, but... He's about to just fucking play his ass. Wow. You take extra steps to prevent cross-contamination and keep food safe. That was a good story. That was a good uh, summary of Ratatouille. It's really what, pretty too. What's been happening on this? Um, fuck, is it like ten times slower? Probably the best way. To keep raw and ready to eat food completely separate. That way, there's no chance these two types of food will touch or drip on. You have to buy another simple, fucking right? freezer. Also, if you want your Totino's and your raw chicken, I'm gonna give y'all a little secret time. here at home. That's not how we do it anywhere. No. Food has to go in the same place. Make sure you use the correct oh, here we go. bottom order. Ready to eat food goes on top. You think? Right under that is seafood. Then whole cuts of beef and pork. Then ground meat and ground fish. And finally, whole and ground poultry is at the bottom. Where does this order come from? It's based on the minimum internal cooking temperature. Yeah, we just kind of chuck everything in the freezer. 
on top of each other. Don't Let me think about this. I don't Everybody think we, swims. I don't think we really have meat. We have hot dogs, so that's about it. <laughs> Those are pretty far on the bottom, so I think You can just eat a frozen hot dog straight out the thing, though. You'll be fine. That's true, huh? Of course, nutshells themselves are not safe for storing food. So I guess there's no, like, real, like, food still. He made a fucking squirrel joke. I don't get it. Let's take a crack at some reviews. Sure Why is he making nut jokes? Where'd that fucking come from? What the fuck was that? Are we gonna talk about nuts now? Unless or? you're a squirrel. I don't know. Moving on. What the fuck kind of meme was that? Has food been stored safely? Sure. No. Uh, Mi what I do you mean? It's just there. It's just there. How do I know? I don't know if it's. Safely? it's been it, taken maybe out. it was stored safely. Yeah. It's not currently. It, I, I don't maybe you know get your fucking currently. question right. I mean, if this is in a freezer, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna say fucking. Oh, I don't know, dude. It yeah. Was, this is dumb. Every time it's a dumb, you just say no. Yeah, not so much, right? This I, chicken has yeah, yeah, too much. Fucking okay. pussy like you yourself. Cover food <laughs> Does this guy ever tell us his name? Stop contaminants from falling Probably in not. Chat, what's this guy's name? How about this? That open, hold up. <laughs> um, I mean, that looks... Pr oh, fuck, the quality's got ten times better. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. That's out of order, isn't it? No, what, uh, no. Just say yes. No. Oh, yeah, you're sick. not gonna pull a fast one on us. Not sick. You're right, but sadly these shelves are very wrong. Raw ground beef has been stored above peppers, and raw pork chops. These shelves are very pepper. wrong. The shelves can't store are fucking raw, wrong. Ready to eat food separately. Mm. All these follow correct top to bottom order. Wow. Ready to eat food above raw meat, seafood, or poultry. The true food pyramid right here. Is this safe? Yes. Oh, yes. that's a good question. Just say yes. What do you mean? It looks fine. It's Nothing not safe. wrong with that. It can't be safe. Nothing. It's all on wheels. That's gonna roll around. It's gonna roll I into something. I swear somewhere. to God, if it's fucking yep. wheels. It sure looks that way. No, nope, it's fine. Has been stored it sure looks that way. He's like, well, it does look that way, but you can't always be sure. So you got that one wrong. <laughs> 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 Sure yeah. looks that way. It sure looks that way. Remember the correct storage order for Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, we got a drag and drop up in this bitch. Give me this shit. Uh, this Give is, me this shit. This is where your budget didn't this is why it cost like fifteen bucks or whatever to do this test. Wow. This is awesome. This is good. Okay, so first things first. You don't want to put that bubble. No, the fucking chicken. How about that? It won't even let you it won't fuck even up. Let me fuck up. <laughs> oh this Jesus. Why is chicken on the bottom? I hope it says good job. Oh, wait, it said internal cooking. Sure, oh, it's loading. That's yeah. why it takes a fucking year and a half to load. Absolutely. Nicely done. Nicely done. done. It's the only way you could have gotten it done. It should always Nicely. be ready to eat Pretty foods on top. Followed by seafood, then whole cuts of beef and pork, then... It really wants you to know the goddamn order of this fucking thing. Oh, wow. Fuck the quality of this is tiny. It got good for a second. Great. Not only that, but I don't think the second half is nearly as funny as the first half. Damn it. Oh. Receiving. Check. Storage. <laughs> check. Look Walk off. Oh. Yeah. Check, please. <laughs> check, please. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm, check. Mm, check, please. Dude, this is crawling on by. It's gonna take like three hours while it's loading. Food often means handling both raw and oh shit! Food oh shit! She just slapped that patty, man. Pathogens can be transferred from one. <laughs> Flipped it on him. Get people sick. How can you stay safe? Keep cutting boards, utensils, equipment, and workstations clean and sanitized. Don't allow ready-to-eat food oh. to touch surfaces that have come in contact with raw meat, seafood, or poultry. Get it! So you'll want to prep raw meat, seafood, and poultry at a different Ooh. time than ready-to-eat right. food okay. when using this I don't know what I'm looking at. 
Also, make sure to clean and boing, boing, boing. utensils and equipment with boing. Boing. <laughs> Something else to watch for is contaminated produce. Oh. Produce should always be washed. You'll also want to clean and sanitize the prep sink and work area before starting. When you do start washing that guy, make sure to use running that water that's slightly warmer than the food and especially with his bare hands, greens, such as lettuce or spinach. You do that? If you soak um. or store produce in standing water or ice water, don't mix different items or multiple batches of the same item. What? And um. finally, refrigerate and hold sliced melons, sliced yeah. melons. tomatoes, and cut leafy greens at 41 degrees okay. Fahrenheit, 5 okay. degrees Celsius, or lower. All learning now. I'm not joking around on the second half. Fucking second half is the most brutal half they okay, say. Now use all that newfound oh. knowledge to choose newfound new knowledge. Yeah. Prepping food correctly. You found that. Remember at the beginning? Oh, look at his face. Oh, oh. Remember at the beginning <laughs> when he was like, "Yeah, listen, you you're probably thinking this is dumb. Why do I have to do it? I know everything, and you're right." <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't he still like that? Photo and listen to the person's story. He ain't fucking around oh, anymore. fuck. Yes. Fucking listen to their story. Oh, that's right. We gotta hear the stories. No, if you don't. Okay. Okay, here we go. Go. After deboning raw chicken on a white cutting After deboning raw chicken on a white cutting board, I used to add nine hand cutting boards with dice and onion. No, you yeah, turkey. It was the same knife cutting board. She got salmonella on the onion. She got salmonella on the onion. She, she be, got E. coli on the onion. She'd be better off she probably just pissing fucking put on her, the she, fucking She onions. probably just pissed all over them. Dumbass. Bit of fig. He doesn't deserve that hat. No, I don't even. No, I've no. never seen a yeah, chef hat like that. The knife chef hat. Yeah, tell her. Tell her. Fucking, you tell her. Dude, these fucking people get off on fucking is, yeah. being authority yes, figures and telling people no. Food correctly, or click no if you don't. Uh, just, Why do you have to click on the photo? Why do I have to click? Guys, I am really bugging me out for some reason. <laughs> fucking like half an inch apart. I trimmed a raw roast on a red cutting board. Fuck. Oh. Then I washed my hands. Put on new gloves and use a new knife to slice tomatoes on a green cutting board. Hey, trip me raw roast. Sounds good. Sounds fucking. I mean, fun. we don't know that the green you cutting board. You didn't change board, your person though. We don't know that the green cutting board isn't like full of dookie, mm -hmm. but you know, yeah, like that. It's could, making us assume green, things here. It does make you assume a lot of things. This person did everything correctly. Hands were mm -hmm. washed, gloves were changed, and a new knife and cutting board were used. What if the other cutting board was used to fucking savant. unclog the, the toilet? The fuck did you just call him? And listen to the what? Story. Savant. Click yes if you think they're handling the food correctly, or click no if you don't. Understand. I like how there's like no pressure to this. It's like, if you don't, if you get it wrong, no big deal. We'll tell you what's right, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> you paid $50, you're going to get the I license, you know? From 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Oh, then I fuck. clean and sanitize the prep table and fillet fish on it at 9.30 a.m. Wait. Salads. Yeah, from whatever. Eight to nine. Sure. That's exactly one hour of prepping salads. Then, no. Bad. I didn't. What happened? I didn't get to read. You didn't it. have to do that much math, honestly. What happened? I'm going to trust you on this because I didn't read it in time. Does it matter if you get it wrong? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's important to me. Okay. Look at this woman right here. Got it. I got yeah, it. I got it. Here. The table was cleaned and sanitized between prepping the salad See? and the fish. And the ready to eat salads were prepped at a different time than the raw fish. Okay. I mean, well, it's always going to be a different time because you it's can't always gonna make be a different two time. things you at the same fucking you time. You can't make two. That's right. That's absolutely right. God. You can't make two things at the same time. You watching what you do. But also protecting people from themselves at places like self service areas. Oh, Take a look yes. at what I mean. This guy wants some self service. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the viewers out there right now. Yeah, boy. 
big money. Cross-contamination can happen when customers refill dirty plates, reuse dirty utensils. I think I'm gonna try closing it and reopening it at some point. Or place their heads that donut looks so fucking good. Food. Donut. That's, right. That's a salad. No, there's a donut right before. Salad bars is actually called a sneeze guard. Try to get that image out of your sneeze mind. Guard. So you have to protect these areas from biological, chemical, and physical contaminants. How do you do this? By correctly labeling all food and providing separate utensils for each item. And, of course, keeping food under the sneeze guard will also help. The Additional fucking sneeze guard. Oh my god. Or use dirty utensils. If you see them doing these things, talking about like being all proper and shit when like food comes in and how to wash your hands, you got a fucking sneeze guard, you're just gonna drop that on us. <laughs> okay. We are crawling okay, by. I'm gonna try to close it right now. Of ways that okay, wait. When's it gonna? When's our checkpoint at? Who knows where the fucking checkpoint? We need at. a checkpoint. Fuck your fucking checkpoint. Is he gonna start us off right here? My. But uh, I feel like it's going slow, and if I reopen it, well, I feel like it's just our internet, honestly. Well, it's at least be using well, the other, not our internet. Oh. Auto lock on do it again. Lock on. OBS, OBS has got it, dude. Yeah. The NRA. The fucking NRA, dude. <laughs> Ready for action. Ready for lift off. No, that's fine. Look at my average viewers. Just hang in there, stream. They should be telling us to hang in there, quite honestly. What are they saying? They're, ooh, three viewers now, We huh? got three viewers. Oh, it's because we... We opened. We reopened it. Okay. All right. If that's See what that? you think. Why is it taking so long? More quality, more viewers. Why is it taking so long, though? Look. What the fuck is happening? Just. Can you get your food certificate at the end of the day? What the fuck is happening? Shut the fuck up. Uh. Well, I hope you're happy with your decision. Yes. What? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why, why is it like Spanish? Why is the exclamation point in front? Alert. Alert. I'll tell you that it's an alert before you read it. But. Spanish is a superior language. Honestly, I would say. yes. Let's put this girl back. Let's. Put her in the back. Here, don't. There are all kinds of ways that people can cause cross contamination You're fucking... easily when handling. Food, oh, jeez, why is she so wide? I want her to be wide. What? What did you say? I don't know. I didn't catch it. Oh, we'll make her narrow, I guess. How do you know? We'll make her fit like that. Okay, I like that. Yeah. That touch food Leave it. Are called food this guy contact too. surfaces. What do we got? It makes sense, right? Well, often the utensils and equipment you use have food contact surfaces. Yes. Plates, glasses, forks, and tongs are some examples. If you're not careful, you can contaminate these surfaces when handling them. Mm -hmm. Here's how to prevent this. Put dishes by the oh. bottom or end. Nice. And glasses Ooh. by the middle, Got bottom, or stem. Jumpy there. And don't stack glasses when carrying them. A yeah. rack or tray works much better. Speaking of glasses, you might be tempted to use better. one to scoop ice. Don't. And don't use your bare hands either. Why not? Instead, use ice scoops or tongs. For utensils, always hold them by the handle. And never handle ready-to-eat food with your bare hands. Oh. Always use deli sheets, gloves, or tongs. Oh, my God. Food with tongs or other utensils? 
make sure you don't use the same ones to handle different food items. Wow. And never, ever use a utensil to handle raw meat, poultry, or seafood, and then reuse it for ready-to-eat food. In short, use separate utensils when serving different food items. It is also okay. important to store serving utensils in food with the handles extended above the rims of the containers. Get all that? Well, there's one more. The towels used to clean up food spills in your operation can actually contaminate food contact surfaces if they're not used correctly. Oh, no. Instead of storing these towels in your apron or uniform pocket, uh -huh. put them in a sanitizer solution when you're not using oh, them. Oh, no. And no. never use the towels that clean food spills for any other purpose. Okay. Don't wipe your ass with the food towels. Don't wipe your ass with the food towels. Got it. Uh. Is your brain overflowing? Absolutely. How did you know? <laughs> How did he know? Uh, yeah, we. Uh, I bet your fucking brain's overflowing. Goddamn. My brain's Peanut about head. to fucking burst. Look at this guy. I don't like I'm his learning fucking so much. weird chest. Does he look and like... his face. Hold on, I'm gonna have to look at him again. I think he looks a little bit like... Brendan Fraser. Take a look at each photo. Uh, we're gonna have to Which person start is look up a picture of Brendan Fraser. Yeah, maybe pops up. Let's figure this one out. What um, is Brenda Fraser? I mean, this is just fucking ridiculous. But young, young, young. Young, yeah, okay. Yeah. Who's this guy? Where? Um, he was in, um, I think he was in Encino Man. The movie star that Hollywood forgot. He was in Encino Man. <laughs> That's kind of And he was in um, something else. Mummy? Uh, okay. Condor. Trust. Okay, Scrubs. I guess nothing. King of the Hill. The I guess Simpsons. nothing important. Nothing important. That's on television. Not movie. There you go. Oh, fuck. There yeah, you go. It. We got the nut job. Yeah. Pawn shop. Yeah. G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra. Yeah. We should, I'm talking about this guy. We don't even have a fucking picture of him. Hold on. Good. Uh, which one looks like the fucking none guy? Not, none of them. Eh, this one, I guess. Not that one. Yeah, I'm going to go that one. I don't remember him looking. That, I, that's because he doesn't. Looks like that. Okay, but but not like that. That's what that's Brendan Fraser. Look at Brendan Fraser in Sino Man. And Sino Man. Yeah. Yeah, but like not the hair. Not the hair. So which one should I throw on this? Okay, well I guess it's that one. That one. This one. That's what I just thought he looked like right there. I guess he kind of looks like that. I see it, um, slightly. Yeah. A lot in the lip area. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna resume. We're gonna get back to our, our guide here. And the For comparison. Sure. I put this, this one here. Yeah. I'm gonna put this one in the back, like, over. I'm gonna put it on top of, like, this. Yeah. Like that. I like that a lot. Okay. That's good. Look on the f uh, I don't know. Is he eating it or is he grabbing it? I mean, uh, there's only one. I so. mean, this is not safe if you're eating it. No, because you can stab your... You, you can don't hurt yourself with Yes, that. absolutely. And you're not going to get optimal cream cheese. No, you can't get so your cream... This, I don't know what you're planning to do with the cream cheese. It's got to be that one. It's got to be. I don't want my bagel handed me with fucking... It's got to be. ...robot thing. Mm-hmm. Fuck you! I know it seemed like a big deal, but actually, you're wrong and you're stupid. But food handlers should always use tongs, gloves, or deli sheets to pick up ready-to-eat food. Wow. Well, okay then. What about this one? Fuck you. Why? Why are they making me do this? I don't know, dude. Just, just pick I'm, one. I'm gonna go for this as one. As fast as possible. I like this one. I like how this looks better. This looks more optimal. Yeah. This looks like a Rubik's Cube. Oh, yes. You got it. Always use an ice scoop to get ice. 
Oh, so you should, you should use a, a bitch safe? scoop to get what bitches? What do you mean which food is safer? Wait, wait. Oh, I get it, because this one, his hand is underneath it, and this one, his little fucking wow. greasy, grimy thumb is going to slip down, it's going to get the oil, wow. it's going to go... And the cake's going to absorb it like a fucking now, sponge. Now, tell me this. If germs move as fast as they say it does... It takes five seconds. Uh, either way, it's get, the germs can get on top of it. You can get on top of the plate if your hand's underneath. Well, if you're not holding it for more than five seconds, it won't. So, so it, it takes five seconds for it to get directly onto it. Like if you're if they're both if your hand is directly touching the cake, that's five okay. seconds. Because when food falls on the floor, five seconds. Okay. So if your finger's that D close, click one, click let's one, say it's about so like can... twenty seconds, and this is about like a minute. So this one's obviously gonna be the best. Okay. You're gonna fucking drop your cake. You got about a minute to move it because you suck at holding cakes. I feel like that's easier to hold it. Like maybe no. Right. Like you can hold more cakes Perfect. with the one on Just the like left. How this person is holding the plate. Always hold plates by the bottom or edge. The, that the other one was by the edge. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Uh. Wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> The, right. the one on the right is obviously safe. We just gotta. This guy is me on all for sure. That is the shit I would do so fast. Mm -hmm. I literally do this with the cups. Yes. He looks like he cares about his work. Fortunately, no. It's not safe to stack glasses to carry. Well, I mean, maybe not safe at all. Like you know, because you might drop them. But other you than should that, be in a fucking Last hole in the ground, narrator. Who's being safer? Okay, well, obviously this guy's a fucking disgusting yeah, that's human gross. being. Not, I don't even that. do that. That's so gross. If any, I ever saw someone uh -huh. do that, oh fuck! If I see Just people, if someone, I go to someone's house and they hand me, a, they hand me a fork like that. I can't eat. I lose my appetite. That's yes. disgusting. Yep. This person is holding the flatware by the handle, which is safe. The flatware. Did I just hear the fucking term flatware? Never heard that. In my what the life. fuck does flatware mean? I've actually never heard that in my life. We gotta have a fucking dual stream with the other one just being my fucking Google so search. Why you can assume what flatware is? And it's not food we're looking. Okay, at. wait. Why we gotta make this comparison real quick? Pause the video. This one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, bring up the the images side by side here. Okay. No, he's way too good looking. This guy? Yeah, but. This fucker. This one maybe. On the, the other hand, that's like spot on. <laughs> oh, try to get a good. Just as easy. <laughs> oh shit! Right there. <laughs> Tell me that's not the one. <laughs> that was a good spot. Oh fuck. No, they do look a lot alike. That's hella funny. Fuck, where's. Yeah. I wanna stretch it, transform. Okay, can you crop it to just his face and then put it over his face? <laughs> I'm uh, sure I can. Transform. It's transform. Uh. Mm, uh scale. Um. Mm. Interact. No. Filters. That's. Oh, jeez. Add. We don't want to fucking. Oh, okay. Oh, fucking Christ. I it's mean. Happening. You're doing, doing it. You're doing it. They can't. They can't see what's happening yeah, right now. I can now. see it in the preview. What's happening? Just it's do the changing. right. Just do the left and the right. Okay. Fifty here. Oh, okay. Sixty. Seven. Whatever. Beautiful. Good enough. I like that. That's the way you get it. <laughs> <laughs> I I could not tell the difference. Oh, I like that. Uh, this is a contaminated salad after. <laughs> and the same is true for items like disposable napkins and plastic forks. If something is plastic to touch forks. food, it needs to be stored safely. And some items like chemicals and cleaning supplies require safe storage because you never want them touching food. I don't want you touching food. <laughs> How do you prevent contamination during storage? First off, anything that touches food must be stored at least six inches, fifteen centimeters off the floor. Utensils should be stored with Fucking the handles zero up, viewers. so people can easily oh, grab shit. them without touching the part that comes into contact with food. 
and glasses and cups should be stored upside down on a clean, sanitized surface to keep things from falling into them. Dude, I just realized I didn't, start, I didn't even slides. press start recording. There are, several are you for real? We're streaming, but we're not recording. No worry, it's fine. I'll take the stream and I'll use that to upload it to YouTube. Away. Won't look as good. No wonder no one's been fucking chatting. What do you mean? Do move them to a new container, this doesn't affect anything. With the common name of the chemical. Oh, we haven't been recording. Oh, I thought you meant like you were streaming, but it wasn't actually on. And the storage okay. area should be nowhere near food because you I thought they were just looking at the black screen. You don't know what's going on, Jerry. That's okay. Not sure where your designated chemical storage area is? Ask your manager. What do you mean designated chemical storage area? You got chemicals at work, dude? Well you got some chemical flying around. You got some chemical? Sometimes you eat some popcorn, tastes like a little, you got a little bit of chemical. Yeah, man. That's because it came from the chemical room. A little zing. A little zing. A little, 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 little tinny taste to it. Yeah. It's like a chemical. Absolutely. Only dump mop water and other dirty liquids into a designated oh, um, <laughs> Dump your dirty liquids. Dump your dirty liquids. Always dispose of chemicals according to their yeah. labels. Okay. Yeah. Sure thing. Draw my life. This is just a draw my life. I, I wonder if I made that yeah. joke at first or not. Ready for some questions? It's okay. We're entering our double bonus round. Oh so shit! Fuck! <laughs> Chemicals, uh, cleaning, oh my double bonus God. round. Nothing. Because there are no points. I knew oh it. Oh my God. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I hate this guy. Because there are no points. There are no points. Are no You're just here points. because we want to torture you. Take a look at this photo. No. Six who cares? No points. No points. No. Double. Well, I don't see what's going- Oh, fuck no, shit's on the fucking floor. <laughs> you can't fucking keep shit on the yeah, floor. Yeah, you don't put your shit on the floor. You caught it. No, I caught it? <laughs> you caught that one. Oh, you got a fucking sharp you eye. You got there. a sharp eye. You got a sharp eye there to see a fucking, fucking eagle eye over here. Don't just throw your shit on the floor. Call this fucking nerd what? eagle eye. No, they don't That's have a big enough rag. Uh, just say no. Just say no. I'm saying yes. You never be too safe. I think it's fine. They may look nice and neat, but glasses are upside down. Fuck, I knew Fuck it. it upside down. You gotta fucking do it upside down. I should have known that. Oh shit. Next one. Safe or not? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Dude, I know exactly what that is. That's the bucket that they put ice in. Oh, it's an ice bucket. You move, we put is ice the in kegger? there is so you the, can move ice around. Is that the kegger? That's the kegger. <laughs> uh, it's literally <laughs> on the floor with the open end down. <laughs> This is good. Oh, fuck. This is a fucking tricky one right here. I clicked no, right? Thank God. Exactly. Ice is not food. Ice is food. <laughs> ice is food. Like the ice bucket, must be stored at least six inches. At least six inches okay. off the floor? Are you kidding me? What yeah, the fuck kind of rule is that? Okay. What the fuck? That was supposed to go in a dishwasher. This is fucked up. Is it organized? If I don't, it's organized, I'm saying yes. I don't know. It's not. No, it's not. Because the handles need to be up. The handles, yes. Probably. Uh, yeah, probably. Fucking the Oh, fuck. Oh. Fuck, this bitch owes me a fucking handy J. Safe? <laughs> this fucking chemical. What about this chemical? Which one? <laughs> the vinegar is not safe. I don't know. Apple cider vinegar. Oh, well, those are all kind of chemicals. Oh, okay. No, this is just this is just food. This is the chemical. Oh, fuck. This look at it. bad it's boy. Menacing. Fucking <laughs> chemical. Chemical X. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, those other things are kind of chemicals. They're all chemicals. They're all in their chemical area. It's yeah, fine. That's good. No, it's so it's apple cider vinegar. It Chemicals and like sounds good. I want some apple cider. Well, why you gotta fucking make the make same food the greatest area type of food there is? Fucking vinegar. Different chemicals, same question. Um, it's locked away. Put them behind bars where they belong. Fuck yeah, fuck you, dirty chemicals. Rot in prison where you belong, chemicals. Fuck you. Keep them locked up. Hashtag keep chemicals yes, locked up. These are stored safely. Indeed. Stored in their Indubitably. Away from food. Indubitably. Uh, 
Here we go, here we go. Get ready. Get ready for our guy. Good job. Oh, You're becoming an fuck, 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 fuck. Got it. But what happens if you notice <laughs> that cross-contamination oh. <laughs> has already happened? Let's see if you can answer this question. Oh, fuck, look at his face. Not that face. They couldn't see the face because it was blocked. That's okay. It's basically Let's say the same that you're in a walk-in cooler and you see that raw meat has dripped onto a case of lettuce. What should you do? Call the police. Listen, if someone gives me an, a list of options and one of them is tell your manager, I'm going to do that. You're going to tell your manager. I always tell the manager. Literally, I don't care if it's like fucking... I seen a, a little boy shit his pants. <laughs> I'm going to tell the manager. manager. Is one of the steps. Let's review what to do if cross-contamination occurs in more detail. That is one of the steps. Okay, so you're not wrong. Okay. Oh, well, of course, but they were all right. Well, I'm not sure is like a fucking retard answer, though, so I'm not going to put that. If you notice that cross-contamination has happened, uh -oh. act right away. Uh -oh. Fuck, look at that cross-contamination. Yeah, dude, it's fucking... The fucking <laughs> DNA streams are being crossed with that bad boy. Ask your manager what to do. That wasn't one of the options. Set aside the bullshit was not one of the options. What do you mean set aside the bullshit? Did it say that? It said set aside the nasty lettuce. Big top that was not an option. Food allergens. Uh oh. Food allergens up in this bitch. Yeah, straight out of food allergens. <laughs> dude, I seen people come out of the Question. Tupac movie crying today. No shit. So fucking real, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I what, watched some of that movie. It was what like triggers fucking, an allergic reaction to food? Being a pussy. Eating anything that has touched the food the person is allergic to. Eating too much of a certain food, I think. Eating too much of a certain Being food. Being fat is an allergy. <laughs> I'm allergic to fat people, so and they eat too much food, so... So you can't touch fat people? I can't touch fat people. No, I'll, I'll, I'll break out. I can see why you guessed that one. <laughs> can you? Can he fucking went down the same <laughs> path of logic that we just did. As well as eating anything that has even touched that food. Oh my god. god. Are we still in rapid fire double elimination double points mode? Oh, who cares? God, there's still a long way Literally to go. Literally no dude. one cares. We got zero viewers. Fuck man. Right now, dude. Who keeps popping in, I wonder? I don't know. I think it's, I think it registers, normally it registers one, like, just because I'm watching, I'm pretty sure, but now it's fine <laughs> doing that. Oh, shit. What is cross contact? I mean, pathogens oh, are just, transferred. Just click on something. From one service of food, when food comes, never, never heard of it. Never in my life have I ever heard of such a thing. It didn't even let me cook it. I cooked this one on accident. <laughs> it wouldn't let me cook this one. That's awesome. Is that right? No problem. That's why we're oh, here no, it did let me get here. That's why we're here. No problem. Touch no problem. Food and the no problem. Proteins mix. Fucking They're dumbass. proteins mix, huh? That's pretty chemistry. Wow. Dick, dick. Chemical. Chem chemistry. Dick, dick, dick. Chemistry. Statistic. St st statistic. Hemitrostatus. What is it? Uh, this is taking long. Right? Here's how food allergies work. Oh man, I thought the zero viewers oh. was a six for a second. The tiniest Fucking wish. You I were wish, that dude. Is, you wish you were that Dude, I had eight one time. What the this, fuck? You have to strive to keep this town away from these customers. Let's talk about cross contact. Let's talk and about cross contact. Proteins called allergens. Fucking sit your kids down. I'm gonna have the talk about cross contact. When a food item containing an allergen comes in contact with another yes, food item and their proteins mix, it's called cross contact. So yeah. everything that touches cheese on a burger becomes contaminated and can cause an allergic reaction uh -oh. even if you remove Danger the alert. Danger alert. Target acquired. Burger cross contact. Take it so down. <laughs> Take her down. Way that prevents cross contact. Many of the things you do this is Alpha Squad. Target sighted. Take him down. Practicing good personal hygiene will also help. Wait, I think I can do something funny here. I can do it in time. Nope. Out. Wait, is he coming back? 
V neck coming back. Oh well, boy, V neck. What kind of do you need to watch out for? Well, huh. people can be allergic to any food, but we're gonna focus on a few big ones. <laughs> few big ones. I'll give him a few big ones. Being allergic to gay people. What dot to do at your work? There are just eight food items. Serve anyone <laughs> that is not of your group. These are called the big eight. Absolutely, the, the big really eight. Big eight on your screen. Huh. You need to know what is the it big that big? Are. I don't think it's that big. On your menu contain them. The big eight allergens include milk, eggs, soy, soy. fish such as what tuna, soy looks cod, like? tree nuts such as almonds, walnuts, and pecans, peanuts. Crustacean shellfish such as crab, lobster, and shrimp. And <laughs> what about pollen? I'm allergic to pollen. That's not a real. That's not a food allergy. I'm allergic to fruit. Does chat know that? Um, I'm gonna tell my deepest. I think you should make the. Yeah, I'm, break the news. I'm gonna break the news. I'm allergic to fruit, of all shapes and sizes. Fruit kills me. Yeah. Try this one. Does pecan pie contain a big eight allergen? Yeah, Fuck yeah, it does. Made of fucking pecans and wheat and everything and it's milk and and milk and honey nasty. and also that looks also gross. Also, it looks like it fucking literally dick. just. I, every time I see a pecan pie, it just looks like shit in a bowl. Sweet. Yeah. Its name implies pecan pie contains pecans, a tree nut, which are a big um, allergen. A tree nut. How about this cottage cheese? That's. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah, cause it's gross. Yes. And I don't like it. What is that on? Is this some kale and some, some lettuce? Lettuce? That's 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 not kale. That's a meal right, right there. What? That's lettuce, fucking cottage cheese. Yep. And cottage some like green milk, onion. That's, is what is allergy. that? That's a whole meal right there, dude. That's dinner. What about sliced this tomatoes? Uh, yes, because they're gross. I'm allergic to fruit. Tomatoes are a fruit. Pro tip. No, because I was not in the big eight. Yeah, so when I was little, I, I am ate, the mighty number nine. I had, a, I had a cherry tomato when I was little, and it was the nastiest That's thing I ever right. ate, and I threw Slice up. It was so bad. That means you're allergic. And like a month ago, I ate another one. And I was Final like, maybe I was being a pussy, and it tasted the exact same, and I gagged, and it was bad. Dude, I did. I just had a cherry tomato like a little while ago. It was you, so gross. You, they're so nasty and so bad. Bitches just eat them like grapes, though. What the <laughs> fuck am I looking at? What the fuck is this? <laughs> then. That um, it's like an yeah. omelet. Yeah. Are you? Sh but why is it so brown? That's a nasty. It's crusty ass. and. That's a nasty ass omelet. That is man. a nasty ass omelet. I wouldn't eat that. Uh, I'm sure it contains something. Yeah, it's you know? gross. What if we're not so wrong? Not an omelet. Eggs. It sure does. Eggs. Oh, yeah, eggs are one of them. Eggs, which are a big egg Another egg. story time. I was like, I was like a black bear or something. I was like, can I get an omelet with the side of eggs? And the bitch was like, oh no, there's eggs in the omelet. I was like, motherfucker, not fried eggs, though. Give me my fucking side of eggs. The customer's always right. What do you mean there's eggs in the omelet? No shit. I just Waitress? want lots of eggs today. Fucking, what's wrong with you? Can I just get fucking more than the daily required amount of eggs, I please? know, I hate it when they question what I want. I was like, are you sure? I want to fucking order it, but they know what I want. Fuck, I want black bear right now. That sounds good. I got chili. Don't want chili. Fuck no. Just Never want chili. People with chili just haven't passed this goddamn test. That's for, Click <laughs> that's for fucking fuck sure, dude. And then answer this question. Fuck, dude. I went to Chili's and I was trying to play on the little fucking the little Zeosk thing, the little thing at your table. Yeah. The little iPads they have. Yeah. And they fucking got rid of Peggle. They got rid of Peggle? They got rid of Peggle. I'm me. sure it's the only game that anyone's ever paid for there and they that got rid of it. It's ridiculous. I'm so pissed off. I couldn't find it. Maybe they like change them out because it's like. Why does Shelly's keep getting worse? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's like there's different kiosks and they have different games on them, maybe. Because it's not like you could scroll through all of them. It's just like kind of like the featured games and that's all you could see, right? Yeah. So maybe, or maybe I just couldn't find it, but I looked pretty fucking hard. Fuck, dude. I was so upset about that. I just wanted to fucking eat my dessert and play Peggle. You know? And I couldn't do that. No. I couldn't do that. You can't do that nowadays. A guest told me that he had a dairy allergy and wanted to know if the chicken salad had any dairy in it. A guest told me he had a dairy allergy. But it was probably fine.
Yes, absolutely. He said it's probably yes, fine. It's probably fine. That's all you can yeah, that's do. That's all you. Yeah. Can't be too. If sure you don't carry around an EpiPen on you anyway, you're asking to die. So. Well, the server was honest, but in this case, that's not enough. Honesty is always you enough. Say it's probably fine if you don't know. It's you're probably unsure, fine. Ask your manager. If you're ever unsure, you I'm always unsure. That you are certain do not the manager might as well do my job for me, you know? Same thing. Click the photo to listen to more of the story. Or more Did of the story. Did the server do the right thing to prevent an allergic reaction this God, time? how much shit is this guy allergic to? <laughs> Just like, well, listen. I asked my manager, and he also said it's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what would happen in any scenario. The customer with a dairy allergy asked me if the barbecue chicken was safe for him to order. Barbecue chicken? That's our house specialty, and I let him know that the recipe was a secret, so I couldn't tell him. <laughs> That's fucking funny. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Yes, you oh have to protect the secret God. formula. Yes. <laughs> I can't tell you, because it's a secret. It's a secret. You could die He's right like, now. He's hmm, well, <laughs> guess can I'll I, take my fucking chance. Can I up. die right oh, now? That's a secret. <laughs> He should have told the customer if any ingredients contained allergens, whether or not they're secret. Food should always be honestly presented. Okay, huh? our server isn't doing so well. Think he'll recover? Click the picture. <laughs> Think he'll recover? No, he's fucking no, he's, wrong. He's getting fired. He's getting fired. Let me strike you out. I, I hope it says that. Job. You gotta fucking really hope it says that. This guy's a health inspector, dude. You gotta tie him up and Finally, fucking the hide him. The grilled chicken on wild rice. Now I was well, positive there was no dairy in that one, so I let him know. He ordered the grilled chicken, and I made sure I noted his allergy on the order. His friend ordered a cheeseburger. His friend ordered a cheeseburger, though, huh? He, that doesn't matter. That's irrelevant. There's cheese on it. But that's his friend. He didn't even note that his friend was cheeseburger. Does it? <laughs> cheese. Why does it? But it's his cheese friend. Cheese is made of dairy. Yeah, but it's on his friend's fucking burger, not his wild listen, rice chicken. Listen, his friend eats the cheese. His friend, when they're leaving, goes to give yeah, his friend a kiss, kiss. A kiss on the lips. On the mouth. <laughs> on the mouth. Some cheese particles, leftover cheese Shit. stuck on his teeth, get transferred through the kiss and into this man's mouth. And he dies. He walks out the door. Five seconds later, he's dead. Not on the restaurant's property, so this is okay. Okay. Yes. Well, we have reached our solution. We have deducted it. <laughs> We took his money, killed him, and it's not our problem. Yep. Take his wallet, check his pulse. <laughs> Take his wallet, check his pulse. <laughs> you want to go deal with that yappy little dog out I there? I think there's a ghost in the I house. He started wobbly, but he got it right this time. Just as what? He started a little Weasley wobbly. All right, you answer the next few. I'm going to go okay. fucking hit this dog. So you're going to go take care of the fucking sausage? I'm going to go take care of the sausage dog. All right. Sausage! Last one. The end of the story. We go. Going in. When the order was ready, I hand delivered the grilled chicken to the customer with the dairy oh, yeah. allergy, and another server brought out the cheeseburger for his friend. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. What happened? They, he was serving the grilled chicken uh -huh. to Captain. Lactose intolerant. Big nerdy kid. And then some other guy delivered the cheeseburger. Now mm -hmm. he's got it. Now he's got it. He's rocking in Wisconsin. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he's rocking in Wisconsin. Did she come back inside to start barking again at something outside? Hope you guys can hear that. If you work in the back of the house. You have to prevent cross contact when handling an allergen special order. Yes. Let's take a look at how cross contact happens and how to stop it. How to stop it. Look at this fucking face. Oh, good God. Really happy with our progress. You're preparing I mean, you're like, don't know goddamn place food no. You have to make sure low to the ground. <laughs> they don't know how low they are. To the customer's food. They probably need there's some fucking tall dog or something. Yeah, they think they're big. For example, think about a guest with a shellfish allergy who Oh, Garrett, put the thing. Put the thing. It's perfect. cooked in a fryer that was used for shrimp. Right there. Right there. That could cause Look an it. allergic reaction. No, the, the, the little eye. eye. Oh. Right there. Yeah. Oh, now it's too late, Garrett. Oh, there you go. There are some oh, things you should do when preparing <laughs> allergen special orders. 
Uh, but First, check recipes and Oh, okay. He's going for this one. Present. And you need to wash, rinse, <laughs> and sanitize cookware, utensils, and equipment. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a constant stream thing. Yes. Yeah, Some operations use a separate set. He's throwing it everywhere. <laughs> doesn't even work any of these places. <laughs> doesn't touch anything used to prepare the customer's food. Oh my God. Move his fucking face so we can see. What? You should also wash okay, your hands fucking hide it. gloves before <laughs> There he goes. And use equipment aside ah! for prepping the allergens. Keep it off to the side. Okay. And you can drag it on as needed. Use separate fryers and cooking oils when frying food for oh, customers with allergies. Oh, fuck those are good. It's fucked fuck, right dude. now. dude. I just realized I'm hungry. Yeah, I've been hungry this whole time. This is like fucking torture, dude. This sucks ass. Oh, fuck. Can I preheat the oven? Honestly, you probably should. Okay, do we have fries? Maybe. Alright, we're gonna put the shit we learned to test. Can be life or death. Go. Life or death. Holy shit. Death. This fucking... We're saving the world out here. This fucking video could be life or death if it doesn't finish the... I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die today, chat. Okay, so here's a question. <laughs> Let's say you've ordered a salad without almonds for yeah. a guest who's allergic to tree nuts. When the salad has been prepped, you see that it has almonds on it. What should you do? What do you do? What do you I do? A guest with a, listen to this, a guest with a fucking nut allergy. He's allergic to nut. A man drops his wallet on the street. I didn't even. What do you do? Oh, pick off the nuts. Hello, sir. I noticed that you dropped your wallet. I'm clicking on the wrong one. That's not my wallet. But it has your driver's license. If you do this, the right food here. will be no less dangerous. Not mine. It only takes a small amount of an allergen in order to make them sick. Well, I don't Talk serve pussies in my restaurant. They can fucking soft. die. Pick Let's off the nuts. You, do when <laughs> you could pick <laughs> off the nuts as an answer. Guys. I didn't look at the other Here, answer. In what, war, in what situation would you ever just pick off the nuts I would for your job? Serve the food to the Dude, in my Ag Foods class, I say about the time I dropped a fucking sausage on the floor and fed it to everyone. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I was in charge, right? And we were, we were barbecuing it outside, and then we like, I elongated it really long. I elongated it! You're supposed to kick it in a spiral, but I was like fucking around and I made it really long. And so like, we cut it in half, but they're still really long, but they rolled easier now. And so they we're on the cutting board, and one of them rolled off onto the ground, like, Oh, fucking shit, just throw it back on the barbecue for a couple seconds and put it back on and go like, get cook off the fucking germs, dude. <laughs> no, that's completely fine. Cook off the germs, it's, it's like, fine. Yeah, cook off the germs and we fed it to everyone. First call Did you eat it? Yeah, I, I was like, okay, well, I guess I gotta eat the fucking shitty half that fell on the ground just to serve myself right. Yeah? But, yeah. What was it in? Was oh, it just sausage so everyone was eating? Yeah, it's Italian sausage. It's hella good. Is to answer a few questions to see what I want some of that. Shit. Me too. Let's, Let's do, do it. it! We can get some, I mean. What time is it? We can go to the store. The Fuck, 8.40? I, I ain't going out of a fucking store. Get down to the store. Well, items should be rejected when receiving. The uh, wiener. The wiener? Water stain, bag of flour, chicken on crushed ice, pork loin, vacuum seal rice, and 25 pounds. But you don't want 25 pounds. I'm gonna say... Fucking water stayed bag of flour. We already had that fucking question. Yeah, but that's why he's trying to trick us. Oh my god. Actually, all water stains should be ironed out instead of rejected. If the packaging is dirty, water stain, leaking, or discolored. How can you Where's my cross -contamination when fucking it's fun? Oh, it's plugged yeah, in. How can I help prevent? Good. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I like it. So you get that natural raw and ready flavors. to eat together. That also sounds Sorry, good. Sorry, that's mm. actually the opposite of. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Sorry, that's actually the opposite. Thank you for apologizing for my stupidity. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Fuck! I've never seen it make you pick it again. I know. Usually it just says fuck it, whatever. You now it's like we're getting to the end. You need to fucking pick up yep. the fucking pace. Oh my god! Stop being an idiot. Oh good god! 
Fucking, he was sick of our shit, dude. He's like, no, you're fucking 100% wrong. <laughs> you are the How farthest away from the correct <laughs> answer as you could possibly be. <laughs> How can you prevent? Um, you're gonna wanna. Is. Being so. Mm -hmm. And sanitizing the work surfaces between ah. prepping each item will prevent cross contamination. Absolutely. How long have you been going on? How long has it been? What should you Dude, I don't know. Let's check the stream. How long does it say? Uh, right there, live. One hour. Hour? We've already been doing this for an hour? Fuck, dude, it does take two goddamn hours. It took two for each, which uh, means it's a fucking total of four hours. That's retarded. What should be used to scoop ice from an ice bin? A glass is fine. Honestly, the pitcher's fine. This is the best way to prevent cross contamination. What do you mean? There's germs in the ice. What if you use the ice scoop to ice. mix fucking Where brown you beef? Store chemicals and cleaning supplies. You, can... you just have to make this asshole happy, man. <laughs> just fucking tickle, tickle his fucking nipples a little bit. Stored. I think every time we're not looking at him, like no. right now, he's fucking just rubbing his nipples to make them hard, so it'll show through the. His v -neck. Yeah, honestly. So when you go back to him, he's prepping up. He's, he's prepping. He has to prep him. Yep, you got it. Always store yep, you got it. You got it, boss. Storage area. Got it. Yeah. Always keep the chemicals locked up behind bars. Which of these three are big eight food allergens? Uh, olives, mushrooms, coffee, lettuce. Coffee, raspberries. Coffee, raspberries, corn. Nicely done. These are three of the big eight allergens. Big eight. Good guys. Done. <gasps> done. You, you wish you were fucking done with the whole done. thing. We did it, stream. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Wait, wait. And cleaning and sanitizing. Oh fuck the mic! Yeah, we're fixing up, dude. <laughs> Don't worry, don't you worry about that, guys. Just <laughs> don't worry about that, that in the background <laughs> stream. What'd you do to them? Me? What? Are they inside? Yeah, they're inside. They're just howling. So let's dive in. We do not abuse our wiener dogs. That is just the we, sound they make no. when they're bored. They're just yelling to yell. They're just yelling because they want to. Oh. Bring them on in. Bring them on in. As well as how and when to clean and sanitize surfaces. We'll also go over how to set up and use a three compartment sink, how to use and uh -oh. maintain dishwashers, how to handle garbage correctly, and how to. Oh, fucking. <laughs> Slam dunk. <laughs> oh, that the mouse looks pissed. Oh, okay. Okay, the situation is under control. Why is it so important to clean and sanitize surfaces correctly? Listen to the following story. We didn't put up the Brendan Fraser thing. I don't know where it went. Look here. <laughs> you click on it, and it'll show you. Yeah, right there. A pregnant woman what? to the hospital with <laughs> cramps. The most beautiful baby I've ever seen. Me too. No story. Lost her baby. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Indicated that she had gotten sick That's two parts. That's from the movie right oh, there. Oh shit. I wanna watch that. And Cars 3. Back to back. Back to back. They're basically <laughs> the same movie. Really? Yeah. Have you seen Cars 3 yet? A little bit of it. Is it intense? Yeah, I guess. Well. Twice a week. Like, you only clean your slicer twice a week. Remember the trailer for Cars 3? It's like everything will change. Yeah. Everything changed, Garrett. Wow. Everything changed. Don't tell me nothing. Okay. It's your job to stop things like this from happening. You don't know so that. You need to know what cleaning and sanitizing is, uh -oh. how to do it correctly, uh -oh. and uh -oh. how often you should do it. First, let's talk about the difference between cleaning and sanitizing. It's oh, pretty dude. simple, really. Well, tell me, let me fucking enlighten me. Fucking guy. Fucking no. Who are you? Food and other dirt from a surface. In other words, the stuff you can see. And there, it's all gone. 
or is it? It's all gone. It's all gone. Where sanitizing comes in. Oh, get ready. Get ready for a fucking genocide. Oh, pop, pop. It's like the Tupac movie. Oh, dude. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I don't even know if that happens. I don't even, I didn't see all of it. I haven't seen any of it yet. I, I just, just seen the part where he gets like sentenced. It's just too fun. Garbage containers. Doing this prevents dust, dirt, and food residue from building up. And customers from being disgusted every time they walk by. Oh, oh wow. Food must Who gives a shit about your prissy little feelings? Include things like dinnerware, pans, knives, and cutting forks. I mean, like they're saying, they're making these assumptions Look about- Look at all these little germs dancing around. I know. What are they doing? They're making all these assumptions about customers being disgusted and stuff. And then, in real life, McDonald's is like the biggest restaurant in the fucking world. So obviously, none of this actually matters. That's true, yeah. Same with Taco Bell. It's a no fucking Taco Bell employees taking those dumbass fucking thing. That's true. They don't do this. They don't do that, no. Okay. This is actually... They fucking wipe their ass with their hand and go make a taco. Yeah, they're gonna fucking make some beans. <laughs> okay. Thank you. How about this wall? Clean and sanitize it? Click yes or no. Yes. Man, you have to Why not? It. Fuck it. It can't hurt. Slow day. <laughs> Go sanitize the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clicking on the wrong one. Wyatt, can you get in there and sanitize that wall? <laughs> I need you to sanitize the walls. I just did that yesterday, boss. Just go for it again. You don't know that. What about these storage shelves? Sanitize everything. <laughs> honestly. Sanitize it. Fucking sanitize Wipe it. Wipe them down. Look busy, look busy, sanitize the shelves. Look busy, exactly. Look mm -hmm. fucking busy, Garrett. You already got the fucking idea. I know how to fucking work. I don't need a well, job. Well, no, not exactly. What? You want to tell us? Or? It's not actually... No, not exactly. Oh, I thought they forgot to record a voice <laughs> in that one. If you look closely, the food is in containers and isn't actually touching the shelves. But it's well, six inches away. Fuck Does you. Does can need to be cleaned and sanitized? No, it's a garbage can. No, you don't do that to a garbage no, can. No, it's a garbage can. No, it's a garbage can. You don't clean the garbage can. It's uh, for the garbage. Got it. Garbage cans only got it. have to be cleaned to prevent dust, dirt, and food residue from building up. Gotta make sure I don't start How building things. How about this pan? No, you cook stuff on it so it cooks away the big bacteria. It cook away the bacteria. It's good. It's good. Dude, no you need, only get the good no fun guy. No need to waste time on that. Actually, because it comes in contact with food. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Cleaned oh, okay. I think you're wrong. I think he's wrong this too, but I'm not gonna tell him that. Absolutely. Yeah, cause this girl's touching it. With your yeah. hands that have some sort of skin condition. He's cutting right, very wrong. Cutting boards are constantly right. contact with food. So they absolutely need to be cleaned and sanitized. She's she has a serious lack of melanin. In her. Yeah, serious big problem. Indeed. All right, all right, you get the idea. Yeah, I've got the idea for fucking three hours now. That's <laughs> <laughs> everyone's fucking saying, oh, goddamn you asshole. You should know it's always best to follow the manufacturer's directions ah! or company policy when using cleaners and sanitizers. And be careful when using them so you don't contaminate food. You know. What? Like <laughs> Is that guy had him the whole Check out the video and see what I mean. Check, Check out, out this video. video. Hey, I'm gonna send you this video. Check, Check it out, out this later. YouTube video. Check out this Khan Academy video. Check out this Khan Academy video. There are only a few simple Here we steps. Here go. Got my life. Whoop up, pop. Surface. At first. These steps may seem obvious, yeah. but they are important to go over, because sometimes... Why is this the format they chose for this fucking video where it's like a fucking draw my life? I don't know, man. Or remove food from the surface. Steps two and three We're so inefficient to just redraw this guy every time. And the fourth and fifth steps are to sanitize the surface and let it air dry. There are specific times when you need to clean and air sanitize dry? surfaces that come in contact with food. After you're done using them, Anytime you're interrupted during a task and the surfaces could have been contaminated, before you start working with a different type of food, and after four hours if the item has been in it could have been like behind your back, it could have been like someone like fucking runs out and whoops their dick out on it. That's fine. That's okay. 
fine. So that covers well, flavor. No flavor. Flavor blasters. But there are no some self-service. 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 Stationary equipment. How should this kind of equipment be handled? This mirror is just video lagging. It is. It talks to others. So I don't even worry about it. I don't worry about it. The first thing to know is that every operation is. <laughs> That's how I feel. And sanitize the specific equipment you'll be using. That said, there are still some general steps to clean and sanitize oh, yeah. stationary equipment, like a slicer. Oh yeah. First, unplug the equipment. First, unplug Push the equipment. Say you don't want a slicer turning on while you're trying to clean it. Ouch. Oh. Once it's unplugged, take off the parts that can be removed. You can either wash, rinse, and sanitize these parts by hand, or you can run them through a dishwasher. Okay. We'll about using dishwashers in a bit. Now what? for the parts that There's a bug on me. You got, you got it. First, I think. scrape or remove food from the surface. I couldn't see it, but I felt then, it. Wash, rinse, and sanitize what if there's like a bug, air dry. like colony growing on you, and you just don't know it because it's like in those places you can't see like your butt crack. But my, this, you see where I got alien butt crack? No, I see you got bug crack. Bug. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Like, think about it. There's a lot of places on us, you know, you can't see. Like, what I can't, in a nutshell, I can't see my forehead. What if I don't? What if I got bugs growing? You there? don't. Oh, okay. What the <laughs> well, then problem solved. Let me pull it up for you. Watch this video and see if the person cleans and sanitizes the prep table correctly. Wrong. Oh, Wrong. Oh, shit. I think it's so weird that my work uses like the exact same things that are shown in this video. Like they bought like, they went to the fucking ServeSafe website and like, it was like a link to where every fucking product used in the videos is like shown, and like you can like buy them directly. Maybe. Cause, like it's the same rags, it's the same paper towels, it's the same buckets. Everything's the exact same. Really creepy. Or if it's yeah. like a universal thing. Like... I don't know, dude. Did they do it right? You do it right? Sure, why not? Fuck, I'm... I mean, I think it might say no because wasn't really she, paying attention. she didn't have gloves on. No, that's fine. I hope it says no because he wasn't wearing gloves. Not quite. Oh my god. He did some things right, but also made some mistakes, like not rinsing the table before sanitizing table. it, and wiping the table dry instead of letting it air dry. This time, click the photo and listen to the story. Then decide whether the equipment needs to be cleaned and like air drying is Click yes, actually yes, bad, you know? There's fucking shit in the air. I guess. So farts, dude. <laughs> you know, that dry your table. I've been prepping melons using the same... Yo, he would be making melons. Should I clean and sanitize them? I've been prepping melons using the same knife and cutting board. No. No, dude, you have to. Wait, no, I looked into this. The knife and cutting board don't need to be cleaned. Wait, four hours? Is the time limit? Yeah, four hours. I read about that. You know why I know that? Why? Because I was driving home from San Jose and I had a sandwich in my car. And I was like, how long can food last in the danger zone? Right. And or basically I Googled how long will a sandwich last uh -huh. out of a fridge? And it said four hours. And I was like, it was like, food will last in the danger zone between Three and four hours. That was That's like, not what I was talking about, well, though. That is what I was talking about. Because it's like food, and it's like out, and it's like, it needs to be refrigerated. So it's four hours. But that's talking about cleaning the fucking stuff, not... Well, yeah, you need to clean it because it'll go rotten after four hours. Because it's like bad at that point. You need to clean off the bad stuff and put in good stuff. Oh. I just finished. See what did you do? <laughs> But that isn't right. God, you fucking I didn't know imbecile. What he, said. he just looked like he knew what he was doing. The knife and cutting board must cutting board match the meat. You have to so. clean and sanitize first, Garrett. Here's you have to. Click the photo and then answer the question. What if I want to answer the question? Give it a shot. I just walked away to talk to my manager and then return the chopping lettuce. Should I clean and sanitize the knife and cutting board? Nope, someone could have self serviced on your fucking lettuce, baby. <laughs> They could have self service it. Actually, that's wrong. What? Oh, I meant yes. Was interrupted during a task. 
the knife and cutting board could have been contaminated. Okay, because okay, they self service. I knew, I knew that, yeah. Before continuing to make sure they're safe. Make sure they're free. Eat free! Oh. Come on! Fucking food test. Okay. We've been talking a lot about using BRB? sanitizers. But we do a break? Oh, because we have food. Yeah. An effective yeah. sanitizer solution. What does that mean? BRB. 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 They need to be mixed with water. BRB. BRB. We put BRB stream. BRB. Put BRB. BRB. Oh, what's it? BRB. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that one. BRB. You?
Oh, fuck. Keep it going. If done correctly, the sanitizer will not be effective. Ah. Here's a question. What, what makes a sanitizer solution effective? Ah. Uh... The amount of skeet in it. I literally don't know this one. That's pretty cool. They're getting challenging. Maybe. I say that and the next one's gonna be like, Oh, uh, do you wash your hands after you shit? Don't hate me for the trick question. There's no right answer. I fucking hate this guy's trick questions. Don't hate me for the trick question, he says. Well, guess what, pal? I already hate you. Whether you're using sanitizer on equipment surfaces or during dishwashing, the steps are the same. Make sure the water is the correct temperature. A thermometer will help. Then add the correct amount of sanitizer so the solution is the right strength. Too weak and it won't sanitize. Too strong and it can become a chemical hazard. No such thing. Both obviously are problems. No. To prevent this, Use a test kit to check the sanitizer. We're not gonna fucking test the pe fucking pH levels of the goddamn sanitizer. <laughs> uh, why I'm gonna need you to uh, test those pH levels of the sanitizer? Marsha, you check your pH levels lately? Marsha. Wiping or spraying sanitizer on surfaces. Always let the surface air dry. Of course, every operation is a little different. So be sure to talk to your manager about the required every operation. Fucking operation. Oh god, I forgot about operation. Check your operation. Make sure your operations is <laughs> uncode. Yeah, I'm calling it. What calling you think? it. You think it's gonna be right calling there? Calling it, yes. As we said before, Pretty good. basically, items basically can be cleaned and sanitized accurate. different ways. Big items like pots and pans usually go in a three compartment sink you think you know how to set one up okay drag each item to the correct sink to set it up yeah okay absolutely oh get that face out of there okay get, get the face out of there Oh, the face is still there. The face is still there. Move it somewhere. Yeah. Put it here. Um. Okay, now. Hey, you got it. <laughs> Good job. I'm so smart. Oh fuck. Yep. The cleaning tools aren't huh? for one specific sink, Wait. but should be used to clean and sanitize all of oh, the Oh, it's going to let you know after every step. That's always the first step. Okay. You know, drag it in the trash can, see what happens, see if it works. Drag it just like on top of the other two. See if it, see if it just happens. <laughs> no, yeah. Just a link fast. I was expecting it's it to like. It's just there. <laughs> I was expecting it to like, yeah. Fill yeah. it up. Oh, oh it did. Sink should be filled with detergent and water that's at least 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Nice. 3 degrees Celsius. Ask your manager how to do this. What, turn on the hot fucking water? <laughs> and you use uh, the regular one. water. Then you put blood in water. Come yeah. on. Pop, pop. It's got a load. Chicka chan. The second sink should only be filled with clean water to rinse things off. Or, if you spray rinse items, you could leave the sink empty. Okay. Okay. If you spray. I spray. What? Oh, fuck. Here we go. Nailed it. The third and Boom. Last needs water and the correct amount of sanitizer. So be sure to check the sanitizer strength. Talk to your manager about this. Have a discussion. Nice job setting up the sink. Okay. Now try your hand at washing. Ew! Oh, fuck! Someone took a shit on their plate. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Where to start? Here's a tip. You're gonna want to scrape that plate before you stick it in. Oh, uh, get it out! Uh, oh! <laughs> are we throwing it away? Throw the whole fucking thing away. Well done. Ew! <laughs> 
goddamn nasty, dude. What's the next step? Just go down the fucking line. Fucking man, make it left to right for fucking the biggest idiots. And you always wash items in the first sink. Use a brush, cloth, or nylon scrub pad to loosen the dirt. And be sure to change mm -hmm. the water and detergent. You have dishes at work, what? Or the water is dirty. Is there anything you have to wash? You have a sink to wash stuff? Yeah. What do you wash? You gotta wash everything. You gotta wash all the parts of the machines. You take apart the popcorn machine into a bunch of little parts, yeah. and then you put those in the sink, and they don't fit, so you just kind of got to throw water at them. Yeah. And then <laughs> you got to, where they put the jalapenos and all those gross little things like that oh. in the little trays, you got to clean those. Yeah. And then, um, that's about it. What about the cheese, the nacho cheese maker? What do you mean nacho cheese? There's no nacho cheese maker. What? It comes in little packets, and you just give them to them. Cheese? Yeah. Like a little, it comes in like a little, like a like pudding cup. That's fucking disgusting. It is really <laughs> gross. The chips themselves are also very gross. Isn't there? There's a big chip machine though, right? A little chip machine. You get the chips in boxes. I thought there was like a big, like you know, like. What do you mean a chip machine? You know how fucking <laughs> chips are made? <laughs> no, like you know, how, like some people in their house they have like cereal dispensers where like you twist like at Woodward, like that for cereal. But like I thought they had a big one of that for chips. No. What about the icy machines? Those are just icing machines. You just they just stay on. What do you mean they just stay how on? How do you what do you how do you deal with the icing machines? There's an icing machine. It's got a little thing. You go, and then it fills up the icy, and then it has tubes running to the back where you put this like. Stuff. Oh, it runs in the back. Yeah. Okay. That's how soda works too. The soda machines have tubes that lead to boxes. That wow, I didn't know that. And you didn't know that. I didn't know. You didn't know how soda's made. I thought all the soda was held right there in that little square right behind the sticker. You thought that. <laughs> Honestly, I never thought about oh, it. Oh man, you're dumb. No, it's just tubes. <laughs> it, the it's tubes, tubes run through. It's like you need CO2 for carbonation, you need syrup, and you need water. It just all comes together, and then it goes. Wow. <laughs> and I say, uh, hey, cheers. Hey, we're in, we got we're out. We're out of uh, Coke Zero. Yeah. Go on, uh, and then you have to go grab. So you, you get these the boxes, and they have the syrup things in them, right? What is, what is it? What's the syrup like? What is it? Is it's it, syrup it, in a fucking bag. A and, bag? Yeah, and you have to like screw unscrew this thing. It's really weird. It's, it's like a colonoscopy bag. You got oh fuck it back on, <laughs> and then and then so you unscrew <laughs> it, you throw it out, and then you get a new one. The new ones are so fucking heavy. Oh my god! So heavy, like fucking ten babies, <laughs> twenty cats. <laughs> And, oh my god. And then you move it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you move it back. And you put it, and you, you have to tell, undo it, and, and then you got soda. It's awesome. <laughs> Step two. Step two. <laughs> All that we just talked about comes in between the step. Yes, you're on a roll. After washing, you know how to go sink, through. And after right. the first sink comes the second sink. You can do Whoa! Just make sure you remove any food or detergent. And, tell me if this sounds familiar, change the water when it becomes dirty or full of suds. Next. Next. Just dip it in there. Or else you just... Awesome. Scrape, then wash, then rinse, then sanitize. Worse. Sanitize. Soak them in the sanitizer solution for the correct length of time, but never rinse them afterward because this could contaminate the surfaces. What's last? You mean the correct length? Put them there, I guess. No way. No way. Correct. You can never truly yeah, clean right. a plate, so you have to throw it away. Put <laughs> them upside down on the drain board so they will, you know, drain. And do not wipe them dry. Fuck you. Okay. That's fine for the big items. But what about the smaller ones? To clean and sanitize small items like tableware and utensils, you can use a dishwashing machine. That sounds simple, <laughs> right? After all, you probably have a dishwasher at home. 
Well, maybe so. But if you want to be effective, you should always follow the manufacturer's directions. <laughs> to get your oh. oh, oh, we'll be there for that. All right, that was a good joke. We'll come back to it. <laughs> First, scrape, rinse, or soak the items you'll be washing. Things with dried on food, like flatware, should be pre-soaked. Never Whoa. overload dish racks like someone did here. So wow, some asshole. Some fucking asshole. <laughs> such as glass racks or glasses. Finally, load each rack correctly to ensure that the water spray will reach all surfaces. Huh. After each load is done, be sure to check every rack for any dirty items and rewash anything that's that guy. Dirty. He's fucking on high alert for anything dirty. Yeah. So you have to double check. When drying items, never use a towel. Never! Don't do it! The dishwasher's water temperature, pressure, and sanitizer levels frequently to make sure it's doing its job. If something's not right or you're not sure how to do this, you know who to ask. You know who to ask. Lastly, be sure to call. Look at him. Which one's the manager? <laughs> Which one's the manager? Which one's the weird 40 year old guy that still works there? <laughs> Imagine if you yeah. just got promoted to manager, you're like 20, 27 years old or something. Yeah. And some fucking all timer, some like 60 year old says, hey, hello, I'd like to apply for a job. I'm homeless. And you don't understand you that that's a real thing that happens like every day. I know, and I'm just saying, like. Even though you're using dishwashers to steam other items, you listen to a baby bass boom. When you were like his age, they weren't even born yet. Keep spray nozzles clear of food and other objects, and fill tanks with There, there are tiers of people. Also, make yes. sure there are tiers of people. Dispensers are filled and remove mineral deposits from the machine. People who follow their online course and and listen to these things and mm -hmm. and make sure that their meat isn't touching their lettuce. Yeah, they're the lowest tier people get. Yeah, they're wasting all their time with safety and making sure you don't get E. coli. They're making sure you don't get sick and they're not making money. They're not making money. And what's more important to a business? Sure, yes, it's it, no, yeah, yeah, you're good. That's overfilled, dude. No, it ain't overfilled. No, it's efficient. Hello, overfilled. It's I can see plates overflowing. You caught it. I caught it. Correctly clean because the rack is overloaded. Oh my god, yeah. I caught it fucking Big on to a T. Is the plate being handled correctly? Dumb motherfucker. Well, I mean, if it's before dishwasher, yes, but if not, no. So I'm gonna say no because um, he probably wants to hear that. I am, I am confusion. Exactly. Never use a towel to dry items. Dishes should air dry. How about this flatware? So oh, fine. Answer the question. What? Answer the question. Yeah, it's fine. Everything is okay. Someone's been paying attention. Always place oh. soap flatware before cleaning and sanitizing it. This will help remove dried on food. Yeah. Now look at these look at it. Correct or not so much? Mm. They look pretty disgusting. Why you be the best? I just be how correctly. Yeah. Hey. Right. Why wouldn't they be? Not fun. quite. They're in a rack and aren't overloaded, but these dishes don't look like they've been rinsed, scraped, or soaked. That has to happen before. Are you sure? Before I think a dishwasher is supposed to get all of that. Maybe not. Maybe I'm dumb. Oh, get ready for the nips. Oh shit. Garbage. Everyone's favorite part of working garbage. in the food service industry. That's fucking garbage. If it's not handled correctly, it can contaminate food and equipment, attract pests, and the most fucking juvenile thing I've ever done. Unpleasant <laughs> odors. Watch these videos of people handling garbage. And see if you can figure out whether or not they're doing it correctly. But this guy never expected us to be. 
I think he did. I think he knew what he signed up for. Fuck, look how close we are to completing this thing. You think so? This is so fucking wrong. Did you see that? That guy just <laughs> fucking... Did you see that? He looked like a he toddler. He didn't tie it first. He looked like a toddler. He, he, didn't, he didn't tie it. That's his problem. Up. He didn't tie the back. He just brought it out. Good, you saw it too. When he touched the prep table with oh, the I didn't notice that. he contaminated it. Be careful not to touch any food or surfaces when removing garbage. Oh, that's fine. Here's another video. Yeah, that video. <laughs> Look at him get in there, get yeah. Get in there. Correct. Fuck yeah, he was getting it. He was getting it good. He was cleaning it. What's he was what, doing what, good. I guess he's fine. He's cleaning yeah. it. Hard I don't think I think of is maybe he's not supposed to do that like inside. I used to think that too. After all, he's cleaning the inside and outside of the garbage container, which is important. Okay. Yeah, he's doing How the fuck are we supposed to know that's a food prep area? It looked like a fucking evil area. Oh, oh, oh god. Good garbage handling skills? Yes or no? No, dude, that was gross. That was so gross. This looked gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, presentation is half of half of the the mm -hmm. right. Don't leave garbage in a prep area until it's about to overflow. You That's what was wrong with that? Quickly as possible. Are you shitting me? That's what I wish you fucking picked that. Whatever. I guess that's the way it's, it is. Did they handle the garbage? All they did was throw the garbage away. I mean, how? What could they have done wrong? Well, that's good to me then. This could piss me off if it's not right. While his garbage handling. No. Oh my God! Whips. Always close the lids on outdoor containers and keep indoor containers covered when they're not being used. Wrong. You don't need to close outdoor contain. What's the point of that? If you're just gonna go throw more trash out it, why close it? I don't understand. Fuck Is me. there a reason for that? Fuck me. They didn't tell us a reason for that. What? Oh! Oh shit! We're gonna teach you how to catch rat. We are. Teach <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god! It is oh, oh! On guard! <laughs> on guard, motherfucker! Oh fuck, this ain't the best for last. Hey, my it? name is my name is Charlie Kelly. I don't gonna teach you how to bash that rat. <laughs> they carry pathogens. Ah, oh, get that rat. Oh, look at that rat. Get that rat. Get that rat. Oh, I see a few rats running around my work. Dude. Really? For real? Yeah, dude, they're all in all the place. That's fucking hilarious. What kind of signs? I just imagine you guys in the fucking back. There's hella people like waiting in line for the food area. They're all in the back just like diving to get a fucking rat. Go oh, bash that rat. Goes. Get that rat. Ugh. Oh my god. Alright, a few overall review questions about cleaning and sanitizing, and you're all done. Uh, yes, all done. Shut up. Look at his face. Oh, fuck. Wait, all done, he said, I just oh, realized. Yes. That touch food. Which issue of services to touch food must be clean and sanitized? Clean and sanitized. Yes. Sanitized. White and nerdy. White and Next dirty. Services <laughs> touch food must be cleaned and sanitized. Go. We gotta bang through this. Look how close we are. Fuck, we've got just a fucking little... Pistling left. Oh my god. Remove uh, food from the surface. Remove food from the surface. Yes. Before washing, rinsing, or sanitizing, you need to scrape cool. the excess food. Fuck yeah. Excess food. You must eat the food. After how many hours of constant use must a surface that comes into contact with food be cleaned and sanitized? Four, 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 four. 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 I think we only knew that because we got a question wrong. Or something, yeah. Yes, exactly right. I don't think it told us that otherwise, so I haven't been paying attention to like half of No, that's the one you do know because you looked it up in the car with your fucking sandwich. Oh, but yeah. But I have a question. When do you eat sandwiches in the car? Like, 
No, because I brought home Zenodos and I wanted oh, to save Oh, yeah, them. that's right. That sandwich. Also, what's wrong with eating sandwiches in the car? I thought I, I don't see you as the type of person who would make a sandwich like, I'm going to eat this on the, in my car. I'm Hella car, do right? that all the time. <laughs> what kind of sandwich? I make a PPJ and eat that shit on the road. How hard? Oh, fuck, dude. That's dangerous. I choke every time I eat a peanut butter jelly because put too much peanut butter. You're a fucking pussy, dude. I put too much peanut butter. Sanitize. Air dry. What? Yes. Air dry. Always. Almost didn't see that one. Gotcha, bitch. Yo. Yo. Ka-chow. Ka-chow. In honor of Carter 3. Air drying is the final step. They fucking call him Kachow to make fun of him in this one, dude. Don't tell me that. <laughs> they call him Kachow. Hey, Look at fucking Kachow over there. <laughs> We're selling mud flap, Kachow. What the fuck is a mud flap? He sells mud flaps because. Is that the thing on the back of Mac? What? The, like, the thing on the tires? Yeah, it's those. It's mud flaps for cars. Cool. What must be done? Scrape, rinse, or soak. Like I'm trying now, dude. Like, dude. I want to make make this guy impressed. Before washing items in a I want to get the very last question wrong, unless that was it. Or soak them. We don't know. I want to just disappoint him right to the end. We don't know. Which of these is a correct practice when handling? I feel like it'll let you know when it's the last question. No. Oh wait. Do not ever clean the inside of garbage cans. Move. Garbage. Clean garbage cans near prep areas. Wrong. What? Well, you want to clean them, but not near prep or food storage areas. Oh, fucking try, try it's, again. It's, it's... It's top one. No! Oh, keep those open. Oh, they're just keep those yeah. on. You always want to remove garbage from prep areas as quickly as possible. Well, where else are the rats gonna live if you can't let them get in your garbage? Point. What two types of contamination can be caused by pets? Uh, physical, physical and biological. Physical, bio. Wait, what's and chemical? I want to say physical and biological. I think that's actually right. Right, you are. Oh <laughs> fuck! A source of physical contamination, and they carry pathogens, which are a biological contaminant. Oh, forever. Is that done? The last one is going to give me a little speech. fucking send off. It's going to give you a speech. It's going to give you a graduated speech. Oh, my God. I hope he's wearing like a graduation cap and gown. That would oh be so fucking God. funny. No, he's wearing his fucking blue v neck, probably still. Don't you worry. <laughs> I want his v neck with just a cap. Hold on. I want to pause and do that. Five miles. <laughs> the only. Uh, blue graduation cap. Yeah. That's. We got it. Right there. Yeah. You got it. You betcha. Pecker Pecker 1-9. Yep, bring it on in. Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought it would be transparent. I mean, it, it's, just, it's right transparent right fucking there, isn't it? Listen. Uh, there's, you know, hold up. Maybe you can do something. Let's just throw a filter on it. Yeah. Do, uh... Green screen. Green screen? Where's that at? I don't know. Image mask. Blend. Opacity. Color. White. White. Okay. Okay. We do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go with Just that. like that. Just like that. It's perfect. Fine. Okay. The only thing left to do is take the test. <laughs> the only thing is left to take the test? Just for a bit, though. What? That wasn't the test? I guess not. Oh my god. And now you have the I fucking had... Did I even have I... to do this? Did I just give the test, maybe? Dude, I would be pissed if you did. I'm never gonna know. Oh, fuck. Start assessment! Oh my god. Can we do the assessment? What's it say? Uh... I don't think he's gonna have personal information, but I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. Can I just do it? Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Just do it. Oh, it's in a separate window. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess that's the end of that. Okay. Well, uh, later, for now,
Stream's going bye bye. Stream's going bye bye. At least for now, I might stream a little bit more later. Might okay. Not. Who knows? Okay. Bye bye. Looks like you're gonna good luck on the test. Everyone wish me good luck. Everyone tell Mr. Wyatt you're good good luck. You buddy. Yeah, he helps us. 